the exact quote was, I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country. Let me just tell you what I see or what I feel when the national anthem is played and when I look at the flag of the United States. End of quote. He said he respects his teammates and their fight for, quote, racial equality and justice. And then he reiterated the same stance later on at ESPN. I respect my teammates and their fight for racial equality and justice, close quote, but I don't agree. Now, what kind of place are we in American history where this is deemed to be a gutsy statement? Heard somebody the other day say, Drew Brees made a gutsy statement in favor of the flag, the American flag. Really? And I said to myself, well, that's Drew Brees. He's always been a class act. And he doesn't agree with this kneeling and said so. Now, why that is some sort of great act of courage says a whole lot about where we are in our society. And then something else happened. You know what that something else is? He apologized. I should have known more. I didn't realize. Have a much greater understanding now. What is going on? Guy in Seattle holds up an American flag, gets assaulted because the person that is assaulting him perceives the American flag to be hate speech. So the American flag is hate speech. Quarterback says, I would never disagree with anybody who disrespects the the flag. And his teammates don't like it. One of them even said, he don't know no better, Michael Thomas said. And he also said this, we don't care if you don't agree, and whoever else, how about that, end of quote, to the teammate. Okay, you don't care if Breeze disagrees with you, but because you disagree with him, he's now apologizing. Remember what I told you? There is zero tolerance for racism. Even when something isn't really even racism. Al Campanis years ago goes on television on the anniversary of Jackie Robinson's breaking into the modern major leagues. And he's asked a question by Ted Koppel on Nightline. Why isn't that, uh, why is it that there aren't more blacks in uh, positions of management? And Campanis stumbles around, stumbles around, and says something about uh, they don't have the, uh, the experience or they don't have the necessities, I think that's what he said. Gets fired. That relief pitcher, baseball, John Rocker, in an interview makes a bunch of stupid comments about different ethnic groups in New York, apologizes all over the place, Career never the same, ends up going down to the minors, and he's gone. I've seen this over and over and over again where somebody makes a statement that is deemed to be offensive to black people, and they're gone. And my point in saying this is, this is the opposite of the racism that the people seem to think exists in this country. Zero tolerance. I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country. Let me just tell you what I see or what I feel when the national anthem is played and when I look at the flag of the United States. End of quote. That's how I feel. I'm supposed to apologize for that? Did he make demands that his teammates not kneel? No. Did he call out any of his teammates for kneeling by name? No. Did he say the NBA should have some sort of policy to stop this? No. I disagree with it, and therefore I've got to apologize? 